every farmer's nightmare. Um, I'm going to be talking a bit funny for a while because I got these steel uh, springs in my mouth with the braces if you guys don't know about that. So this is going to be interesting to talk and record for you guys. But this is the one thing I really uh, don't like on this farm. It's now November and if you guys remember the live stream I did, this crop was a bit wet and uh, now it's dried out. But it's just, it's going to rain again. And the farming that I have, this is Grant Hilbert's farm. Um, I'm helping him farm and stuff. And uh, the weeds have decided to grow. Um, not so much of where the plant is actually uh, is. It's more on the side where I already harvested it starting. You can see on the edge. So, what I'm going to do is once I finish up this field of harvest of soybeans... Because I'm already kicking off corn right now. We'll um, spray herbicide over here. Uh, we don't like to, but um, unless I can cultivate this, if it doesn't get any taller, I can uh, plant right into it as a cover crop. Or just cultivate this, but I think cultivating this will be a mess. So, I'm looking at this field over here that we haven't even started, and... A lot of the pH value is pretty bad, so I'm going to have to hire a farmer for lime. Like this one, this one's pretty bad too. And it takes it right out. It takes the pH out. So, we look here. It's good, but like right where I harvested, it's kind of bad. Um... The nitrogen is really bad, but you can see how after harvesting, the nitrogen actually goes up. So it went from zero to where I harvested. I'm getting like 20 to 40 um, kilograms a hectare, which is really good. So the yield really did well uh, through here. Uh, it didn't show the seed rate, but that's what we're looking at. I'm taking Spencer's... Um, Spencer's truck right now, the red one, uh, it's the red fork, and this is a ram, but we're heading out right now, I'm looking at a spot to build the uh, shed, I am building a shed on this farm, and so I'm trying to figure out a good place of where I can actually put it, um, we got that cornfield that we're harvesting right now on the left, but I gotta find a field that I'm gonna be able to harvest on, um, or to build on, is this gonna be right here, I think it is. So, we got a few things that got built that a lot of you guys don't know. So, we have the first thing would be this. We have a scene. I think it's a scene. The chemicals and the fertilizer store already there. So, we have dry fertilizer, seed, and then we also have the chemicals. So, that's all done. The production is done. I did time lots video when they were building, when I was building. The uh, ethanol plant right over here. So we do have that. And then we got two soybean fields over here ready to go. Um, that didn't get knocked out. But there's the ethanol plant. Um, so that field has a lot. And then I'm actually, what I'm going to do is they're also, they're not done building here. We'll pull in here. But they're not done. They're actually... This dealership is going to have one more. So there's the workshop. I can store the trucks. And they're going to put a dealership uh, somewhere over here. So once equipment starts coming in, they'll put the equipment in the back in the sheds and stuff. We can look around. Um, and then they're going to actually put... It's, it's going to be a Kubota a dealer. But they're going to have one somewhere over here on the side or whatever. And it's going to go up. And then that's where the actual equipment would be. Uh, sort of with the whole thing so it could be right next or whatever and have its own office That's the John Deere actual workshop and stuff where they're gonna fix the equipment your trucks, whatever, but That's what we're looking into um, When this series gets started which it is uh, The combines are actually not mine right now. I am demoing his but I am building his shed somewhere 
but I gotta find a field where I'm gonna be able to build it. Because, sorry car. Because we're right now limited on options as to where I can build. Um, exactly. Now we got a nice forestry area here we're just driving into. So I totally know where I'm going. This is where I can get the water and everything. This is probably not the best place. This is mainly for logging, I think. Definitely not somewhere you want to drive a combine or drive equipment for a shed. But, um, like this field here, we can probably build a shed on. I'm just not going to be, I mean, the shed, here's an idea what the shed will be. So this is the shed, and it's going to go like this. And then it's going to go somewhere over here, and I'm trying to figure out where I would want to put the shed. Because it's got to line up. That's squared off. So we'll we'll figure out what's gonna happen if where I build the shed, but this is an idea where I can put it. Let's go harvesting. So I'm gonna disconnect the 16 row corn hitter because this is definitely not gonna work with that one. Uh, and then we're gonna connect the eight row because I don't have six row. So we'll do the eight row and we'll go up and down the field. Hey Grant, do you think we can uh, get maybe a fuel trailer of some sort? Cause this combine's getting pretty low on fuel. Uh, I can do about four passes here and then we'll be almost empty. Okay, thanks. Alrighty, let's start combining. Set it down. We'll check the yield map later, but I just want to get somewhere in the rows correctly. So we'll go about four and a half miles an hour. Uh, not a lot of weeds, I can't. They're pretty much dead through here. But uh, let's check what the yield is. Oh, it's not bad. It's not a bad yield. There's the yield map on the left hand corner, you guys can see. So the yield isn't that bad, but it's not really that good either. It's about average. That's our average yield in this area. So we're going to combine through here, uh, going about five, six miles an hour. And then, uh, we'll see uh, what this combine can do. It is wearing on it, so we, there is wear and tear on this uh, combine, but looks like we have a clean sample. I'll jump out here and check, making sure everything does look pretty good. Um, looks like everything is alright. Seems like it's doing a good job. It's just a lot of weeds. It's the only problem. But uh, we're combining. Here's your montage.